It is in no way surprising that The Ladder of Monks by Guigo II should have been so variously ascribed to Augustine, Bernard, Anselm, and even Bonaventure. Ultimately, its importance attached to it is shown by the latest of the pre-Reformation devotee, the Brethren of the Common Life. The Brethren of the Common Life was the group that produced the Imitation of Christ. And it had a it was known as the, the modern devotion in the so-called pre-Reformation period, 1300s, 1400s. And so this text that we're reading with the Fellowship of St. Anthony, we go to the Letter of Monks. So it's putting down in writing the tradition of Lexio Divina, the tradition of the private praying of Scripture, which was had been done for centuries and centuries. The introduction we just read talks about how there's there's various traditions of spiritual analysis, speaking of the latter, which refers obviously to, to Jacob's ladder, which our Lord applies to himself. But there's this meditation on the scriptures. We, we read in the life of St. Anthony how St. Anthony had memorized the scriptures. He could not read, but he had memorized the scriptures. And this refers to the oral tradition, the oral culture that was at play at this time. Um, Western monasticism, a lot of people think about St. Saint, Saint Benedict, but the introduction we just read talks about how St. Augustine actually was the first monastic order, which influenced later developments. However, there is one author that is almost always passed over, which is very unfortunate, and that is St. John Cassian. Um, let's see, where's the, here it is. The, the, there's two, two great texts which form the basis of Western monasticism, and those are these two texts. Uh, if you want to buy these texts, it's a very important that you buy these versions. Do not buy, there's another version of the Institutes where they took out the chapter on lust. I don't know why you would want to do that, but they took out the chapter on lust. Don't buy that version. Buy this version, Paulus Press. And then the, there's another version of the conferences that's abbreviated. You don't want that one either. You want the big version that's unabbreviated, Paulus Press. So in these texts, which are the foundation of Western monasticism, so these this is when St. John Cassian, he was a Roman. Uh, I'm not sure if he was a Roman. He was at least a Latin, and he traveled with his friend Germanus to Egypt, and he lived with the monks for, for many years. This was in the 400s. And then he came back and he wrote these texts in Latin, translating the, the wisdom of Egyptian monasticism to the West. And this is where we get Western, uh, the critical piece of Western monasticism. So if you want to be a part of the Fellowship of St. Anthony, you want to read this book together, you want to read the Bible together, the whole Bible, according to our liturgical annual Bible reader, uh, you can go to meaningofcatholic.com slash um, register. That is, we're, we're coming up to a great opportunity to join the Bible Reader because Advent begins. It's the beginning of the Western, Western calendar. Here's the uh, Bible Reader here that we follow. And it's according to the traditional office of Matins. And so Advent begins. And in the traditional office of Matins, you read through Isaiah for obvious reasons. During Advent, we also add wisdom. And then over in Christmas tide. We read the uh, in Epiphany Tide. It's traditional to read all the, all the epistles of St. Paul. And then beginning with Septuagesima, you begin the Pentateuch. So you begin the Torah and you go through the whole Torah as well as uh, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. And especially during Paschal Tide, it's traditional to, to read the Gospel of St. John. This is a very ancient tradition because the Gospel of St. John was the mystagogical gospel that they gave to the, the catechumens after they had been illuminated by holy baptism. So if you want to enter our lay sedality, you have to, one, you have to chip in some, some money to help the apostolate pay our bills. And then you have to offer extra penances. And we have a penance rule. You can click the link below to check out the penance rule. It's not that much harder than what's already on the books for all Catholics, but in Advent, there is a requirement to add some more penance during Advent as well as Lent. So 
MeaningofCatholic.com slash register. God bless.